Merry Christmas everyone! <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to my Christmas special. I am home with my family for the holidays and since the weather outside here in Germany looks like this currently and not like the white Christmas that I wished for, I decided to DIY my own Christmas in Revit and share it with you. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so let's start this in Revit. Uh, the first thing we'll need is a new project. And then, so I am imagining a beautiful snowy white landscape with like maybe a little cottage and then inside there's like a warm fireplace and outside there's like nice trees and then uh, I want to look at it in Enscape and set uh, all the, the lights to a very nice atmosphere and then enjoy a little Christmas moment. So the first thing we need for that is a model in place component, just a generic model. And so the first thing I want to do is with an extrusion, just build, oops, just build a, the ground, so to say, for our little scenery. So, you know, this is just going to be the base on which we put the snow and everything else. So for the snow, I thought I would use a blend and then create a like wavy profile in the front and then one in the back and then we'll, we'll blend from one to the other and create this nice thick layer of snow at least i'm imagining it to be like this okay so um first we gotta set the work plane to this front um area of the our base and then I'm going to pick this line and then draw one line from here up a bit and then start with a spline and just go like this Do you know because the the snow gets blown around so it's not a um, it's not a flat layer of snow but the snow is like falls in these kind of waves, if that makes sense. And then maybe here's a little hill of snow. Okay. There we go. And finish that off. Okay, so that is our front. Ooh. Okay, and now the other side and then pick this plane yes and I need these lines as well and now another spline and just go a bit different from the one we have in the front so that we'll have a make a nice blend at least I hope. Okay. Okay. Oh no. Oh well, doesn't matter. No, no. To here. And let's move this. You have to press the tap key to get the circle and then you can grab it. Okay, now let's finish that off and then you see what I mean? Oh, well, it's not white, but it has the, the nice fluffy structure. Okay, let's change this material to something more snowy. Um, so... I don't think there's a snow. Oh, let's chip some wallboard. Should be fine, right? That's kind of like white and fluffy. We'll see what it looks like in Enscape. Okay. Um, 
So next will be a little house, I guess. Okay. Oh, first we got to finish off this, our model. Okay. And now we need more. So I am imagining this to be built in red bricks, I guess. And just a little basic cottage. Okay. What does that look like? Yeah, that's nice. That will be the red will be a nice contrast to the to the the white snow. Okay. Let's just make a little square house of like five by five meters maybe. Not too big. Just a cozy little shed. Okay. So oh no. So you can use the tab key to select all walls at once and we want to connect them to level one. Okay. Maybe it's not so nice the position because there's so much snow going on there. Let's put it here. And then of course because we don't want the snow to be inside the house we need to add a void form here, a void extrusion. So a void is basically oh, set. Oh, let's set it to that zero. Okay. A void is basically a, ne a negative um, form, so it will cut out um, the shape from the um from the existing form uh, from the exist yeah existing model oh but where is it wait i need to hide this where has it gone ah there it is okay In. Ah, you see, but I don't want it to cut the ground as well. So here we go. Oh. And yes, perfect. Okay, maybe I'm also going to add a little path that goes to the house. So that would be a are we going to do this maybe with a swept blend okay so so for the swept blend it's best to draw the profiles first so I want to have uh, so one profile here and we're going to use model lines for this and then it's, it's going to be something like this from here to here and then I will go up in a spline like this right somehow and then to the other side and then back down okay so this is the first profile and then we will need another one at the house um, which I want to be a little smaller Okay. 
So why are those green? What kind of lines did I pick for this? Oh well, doesn't matter. Okay, because now we're going to add. Oh, so I double clicked the mask to um, go back into the editor, and then we're going to add a white swept blend. <laughs> And we have to sketch a path first. Now we don't want this to be um, a straight path, or at least I don't want to, because we're in nature. So set this to, and then just go like this. Oh, I did a straight path. <laughs> so um, select the spline again, and then okay. And then we click OK. Or maybe I want to edit it a little more. It's too even. OK. Like this. And now uh, we have to select the profile one, which will be the one at, on this side. So we can just say edit profile by the sketch and then Take this pick line tool and the tab key and then all lines will be selected. Check. Now we do the same for profile 2. Um, here add a profile, pick line. Okay. Now let's see <laughs> what that looks like. Okay, and then we also need to no, what is it? No, oh, finish it off. Okay. Yes, this is kind of what I was looking for. Yeah. But let me delete those lines because we don't need them anymore. Ah, those lines are not in the model. Okay. Okay, but I also need to make this path a little longer. Okay, can I just drag this? Okay, and drag this as well. So tab key to drag the point. Okay, finish, yes, okay, nice, nice, okay, I think what I'm going to do next is to go on to BIM object and Revit City and get some nice furniture for my cottage and then I'll show you the final result. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> so this is my little um, house. Um, but before I'm going to show you the inside, I wanted to show you something else, which is if you type in something like Enscape Project Revit, you'll find that on the Enscape website, they actually put up some files for you to download with like sample lights or like a whole project. Um, or also a material library, but also this really cool project, which is just made up of a lot of different trees and figures to put in your project. So, um, so you can download this and then uh, use the, the tree families to put in your project. And this is exactly what we're going to do now to um, blur the line when we open it in Enscape to blur the line between our horizon and the horizon in the skybox background. So let's add some trees. Okay, so now that I've added all of the trees, uh, I want to show you one last thing before I open it up in Enscape which is here in settings, in the Enscape settings. You know you have these uh, an atmosphere, all these different kind of backgrounds that you can load. But 
you can also load your own skybox from file. So I found this really cool website called openfootage.net that has all these different kind of um, skyboxes that you can, if you download them in low resolution, you get them for free, but you can also pay for higher resolution. And it's all these nice kind of snowy uh, landscapes. So uh, I downloaded one from here and then you can import it into your uh, Enscape if you click on this button here and then open up the file that you just downloaded. And now, without further ado, let's look at what it looks like in Enscape. So this is the skybox that I downloaded. It has all these uh, nice snowflakes falling down and with the trees and here the snowy landscape in the background. And there in the nice wintry sun, we have our little cottage. I hope you enjoyed this little Christmas scenery. I want to wish you all a merry, merry Christmas wherever you are and that you will have a wonderful 2019. And since it's the end of the year, I also wanted to reflect on the, on the wonderful year that I've had because I started my YouTube channel in the beginning of 2018 and uh, I don't really know what I was hoping for with this, but I really didn't expect all these cool things to happen that did throughout 2018. Like I got invited to some very cool conferences in London, in Germany, in Las Vegas, and uh, met the very cool companies, Autodesk to uh, name the biggest one, but also Enscape and um, Nevis. So uh, all the very cool people that I met everywhere. So. Thank you everyone for making this possible for me and I'm very excited to see what ha will happen to me in 2019. So enjoy the holidays if you have them uh, and if you don't, well, <laughs> enjoy at least celebrating New Year's and then see you in 2019. Bye! -bye.